Supreme Court nominee Judge Amy Coney Barrett is on Capitol Hill for another day of meetings with senators. With October 12th, the start of her confirmation hearing fast approaching. Democrats are continuing to oppose her nomination. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Key Senate Democrats that I spoke with say that Judge Amy Coney Barrett's nomination is illegitimate, and they say it's an attempt to go after Americans' health care. But Republicans I spoke with say that she is the right person for the job. The people of Montana uh, look up to you. As Supreme Court nominee Judge Amy Coney Barrett continues her meetings today on Capitol Hill, Senate Democrats continue to criticize her appointment. Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut tells me he will not meet with Judge Barrett. I will not be meeting with her. Can I ask why? Uh, I, yeah, we have a... Inside the Judiciary Committee, Senator Blumenthal challenged his Republican colleagues. To demand of Amy Coney Barrett that she recuse herself, that she decline to rule or participate in a decision involving an election of a president who has appointed her. And Senator Chris Coons of Delaware says Judge Barrett's nomination is part of a coordinated attack on health care. Just a week after the upcoming election, there will be an argument in front of the Supreme Court where the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act is at stake. And the administration and this committee is rushing through a nominee in time to have that nominee seated for that argument. But Republican Mike Lee says Democrats are misrepresenting the role a jurist should play. We're looking for someone who interprets the law based on what it says rather than on the basis of what he or she might wish it said. A role Republicans maintain that Amy Coney Barrett is suited to fill. Well deserves uh, to be on the Supreme Court. There are some Democrats who say that they plan to meet with her. Senator Lindsey Graham, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, says he looks forward to starting the confirmation hearings and he hopes Democrats will behave fairly. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.